Today we're speedrunning Bloons Adventure Time TD. This is a really unique Bloons game which only lets you place each tower once, so you have to use really unique strategies, and it has tons of Adventure Time references, so it's awesome. But before we start the speedrun, this video was sponsored by Factor. Have you ever been sitting at home considering ordering food for the 22nd time this week, but then you take a look at your bank account and cry? So immediately you call your mom and ask her to pick up burgers, but she goes, you're an idiot, I literally live 8 states away from you? Well I haven't, and that's cause I use Factor. Factor is a meal subscription service that sends fresh, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. There are over 34 weekly options to choose from, and are super easy to make since you only need to put them in your microwave for 2 minutes and enjoy. I personally like their different options, specifically the Protein Plus meals since they make sure I get my protein in each week. And if you want any extras with your meals, you can choose from more than 45 add-ons, and I personally love their smoothies. I've used Factor before I even got this sponsorship, so I definitely recommend it. And if you're interested, head over to Factor75.com or click the link below and use code EASYSPEEZY50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Thanks Factor for sponsoring this video and enjoy the speedrun. Now we'll begin with the throne room and our speedrun will start as soon as we click play. Right away our first person we're going to want to place is going to be Wara PB. She's really good since she's cheap and she can also summon other people to come help her. So right now we have the candy archers. Some of them are not spawning in the best places but when they're close by they'll help us get extra damage. And Warrior PB is very good in this game because we can basically allow her to carry us in the early game so we can save up money for other characters. But I mean right now look at all the cookie soldiers. None of them are even close. Come on guys you gotta work at least a little bit hard. Laziest soldiers right in my throne room as well. I I can't believe them. But basically how this game works is instead of being able to place as many towers as you want, you only get one of each tower. So we can only place one of our warrior PBs and that makes it so there are some different strategies you have to employ and you got to be more conscious about what you're placing. But next we're going to go take the flame princess who we can just barely squeeze right in there. Otherwise we would have had to get rid of the guy. It would have just been kind of annoying, but we can place flame princess because she is extremely strong. Probably my favorite tower in the game. If we get heat sense, she can deal with camel detection. She gets rid of ledge, she can deal with moabs, she's really good. It's also kind of funny because we put flame princess and princess bubblegum right by each other, kind of awkward. You even get an achievement saying that when you place them for the first time. Yeah, I kind of stole that joke from the game. But anyways, things are looking pretty good. And right now we're kind of just focusing on getting flame princess some good damage, while princess bubblegum's main objective is dealing with any of the balloons that last too long, and then she can use her units to kill those. So we can get the flame burst right there, that's going to give us some extra damage, now we can focus Focus on getting some more units with inspiring presence and we'll wait just a little bit longer until we can get the gumball guards gumball guards are really good in this game if they actually spawn in a place where i can use them dude is all the way over there how are you supposed to be useful like that dude okay now they's run by me so the nice thing about the gumball guards is they're really quick attackers they just keep stabbing the balloons over and over again i love those guys they're even better than the archers but i guess they both have their good parts and their bad parts anyways now i gotta get rid of these guys so i can actually place the ice king and finally we accomplish the ice king's dream by putting him between two princesses we're also going to give him the wizard eyes which is going to allow him to see camel blooms unfortunately in this game there's no tower that allows all the towers by it to see camos well there's no tower except for the ones you pay for but we're not going to go into that right now so that means you got to make sure you have individual towers that can deal with camel blooms like flame princess and ice king the ice king's also nice because we have a trinket on him which turns some of the blooms into penguins and then the penguins attack other blooms you can kind of see them popping up every once in a while and it's just so cute. And that is another thing I haven't even mentioned about this game. Trinkets are incredibly important. But before I get into that, we're also going to spawn Max right here. He's another guy who can deal with camos, and we have a weapon on him which explodes. All of his darts, as soon as they reach their destination, they explode, helping us get more damage. But as I was saying, trinkets, incredibly important because you can give your different people extra pierce, extra range, extra power, all sorts of extra goodies, or, you know, just turn balloons into penguins. Kind <laughs> of like Ice King, so that's probably my favorite. But we are now on round 45 out of 60 so we're getting to the higher ranges and we're getting more and more moabs which moabs are annoying because you don't get too much money out of them but they take a lot of forces to take care of but with this collection of just four people we should be fine i will be focusing on flame princess right now though and we will get the fire trap 
which is going to lay down a pit of lava. And if any of the balloons go over it, they get incinerated. It's kind of in not the best place ever right now, but it'll change places as it goes by. We can also upgrade PB a little bit more, give her some better attacking. And our next thing we're going to want to get is Elemental Transform. That's an ability we can use with Flame Princess, which is going to help us deal with round 60, at least hopefully if we get it. But we are now getting tons of different balloons, especially the regrows. Those are really annoying. Oh, but I also didn't even mention that we do have these abilities. Both of these abilities are from trinkets that I activated earlier. And one pulls a Moab in, like right there, while the other gets us a nice storm of nails coming down on everything. Those are two that you can just get through trinkets, but then we can also get one through upgrading, which is going to be this ability, which transforms Flame Princess into something that completely murders everyone. It also recharges really fast too, so we can use it a lot. But for the last upgrade I'm really worried about right now, we're going to get Bullseye for Max. This makes Max's attacks do mega damage to the Moabs. Yeah, I literally just read that out. But obviously for the last round, that's going to be important. And we can buy that right there. So now we're just prepared for round number 60. We just got to make it through these small rounds. I don't want to use any of my abilities because I don't want to waste them. A couple did slip through for just a little bit, but not too much of a problem. Now we have some regrows and some camos, not anything we really have to deal with because now we can use all of our abilities at once, making the thing stand in place, raining down all these nails on it. Everything's exploding and stuff. Things are going terribly for these guys. And finally, it should be about time as soon as I kill these guys, please. And that is going to be time. 801, which I believe is the second place on the leaderboards. And for our second speedrun, we're on to Enchiridion. But for this one, we're gonna go to the dark side and use the pay to win characters. So we'll start it right here. And right away, you're gonna see Dungeon Finn. Now there are three different pay to win characters in this game, each that costs $10 and they're all overpowered. Starting with Dungeon Finn, we can get him and he's just gonna be fine. We gave him one upgrade. We won't even need to help him for the next little while. I mean, to be fair, this is a free game. So it's not the worst thing in the world that these guys are pay to win, but I'm just gonna show you how broken they are so yeah dungeon finn just able to do everything by himself don't really know what's going on with him with like that swirly thing around him but then we can also get musician jake or i guess tuxedo jake and this guy is broken because tuxedo jake is one of the only characters that you can get extra money with what we're gonna do as soon as we get 600 is buy the busker power up and this is gonna drop little cash hats every single round multiple times per round and each of them give us 30 cash then we can also go and place a banana farmer so i don't have to pick them up manually and we're just swimming in money at this point but he's not only good to get extra money you can also get things like turn it up which increases the range of all nearby characters Characters. Or Allegro Tempo, which increases the attack speed. Yeah, you can see where this speedrun's about to go. Oh, I also have a trinket on him, which gives him this little balloon trap. So that's also going to be helpful. Make sure that nothing gets too far. But then I'll get that. Next, I'm going to want to get Musician. And yeah, we just want to get as much money as possible. So we will take that, as well as getting some royalties to increase the cash bundles now up to 50. And then we're going back to an old classic with Max, because people are starting to get through. And Camels are going to get through if we're not too careful. So I will want to go ahead and and get some enhanced range and we'll upgrade max just a little bit it's not even a problem anymore now that we have jake like dude is just so good we've needed him this whole time and after a bit of upgrading him just to make sure we won't have to worry about any camels getting through we're finally going to be able to get hunter marceline marceline flies around in this pattern and all of her darts are homing. We can also give her things like soul sucking, which gives camo detection, lead popping, all sorts of things. Hunter training, which gives her faster attack speed. We can give blood rush, which makes her go even faster. And yeah, Marceline's so good in this game. So yeah, those are the three pay to win characters and it's time to take home this world record. I might as well also get inspiring melody, which allows all nearby characters to pop balloons of any type. I don't know why they only gave this to Tuxedo Jake. This would have been good for other towers too, but they just wanted to make this dollar character so good that you absolutely need him but we'll just keep upgrading our boys we can give him some rock out things like that go back to max make sure that he's doing well and we haven't upgraded finn in a while he needs some upgrades which he also becomes overpowered as you can probably guess i haven't even upgraded the characters too much themselves so you'll see like i don't have enough stars to buy this but that doesn't even matter just with what we have we're gonna kill everything nice and easy. And at this point, we might as well use some of our other guys, like Abraka Daniel. This guy's just kind of funny because he transforms balloons into butterflies. And he can even transform Moabs into butterflies, which is hilarious. So of course we're gonna get that for him. I don't know if any balloons will get close enough to him, 
but hey, he's still there. And we'll also get the butterfly with a laser gun because he might as well help. We'll just put him right down there. Okay, if I can't... This button blocks part of the map, which is so annoying. Okay, fine. We'll put him over here a little bit farther away, but we'll get him laser scope. We'll also get Ricardio, Ice King's heart, just chilling, getting his stuff as well. And we might as well get the wizard monkey. We can give her a couple of things. And something cool about her is if she has the flame princess or the ice king nearby, then she can use their magic. So we'll put the flame princess right there. And now we can make her a student of fire. It's kind of crazy seeing the difference between this map and the last map, because last map we were struggling for money, but now that we have Jake, it is not a problem at all. So we'll just go with some good general strategies. I don't even have to really worry about what I'm getting at this point. We're just going to kill everything fast. I already know so. And we still haven't even used any of our powers like this one with Jake, where he can turn into a rock dude, which we only got to see for a second. But he actually hits people. In this form, he doesn't hit anybody at all. He just supports everyone else. So that's a pretty cool ability when you actually get to see it. And who else haven't we seen? Oh yeah, there's Bimo. Bimo doesn't really help too much. All he's really going to do is give us more bank money which I guess is helping a good amount. We just don't really need it when we have Jake. Oh, and we can put these guys just because they're funny. They'll attack balloons until they die and then they just fall over. Eventually they do get back up, but it is the funniest animation. I hope we see it. Come on, man. Uh, I'll use Jake's ability right there. Look at him rocking out and our boys are dead. Look at them lying on the ground. Okay, I shouldn't be laughing at other people's pain, but it's just so good, man. Oh, we can also use Captain Cassie. She's down here. Not gonna see any action at all, but now it is time to finish out. We'll use all of our abilities at once. We can also get Fire Trap, and everything should be nice and easy as we go through all this stuff. Please kill everything, and there we go. That's time. 801 again. So that's going to be one second place and one world record. I'll take it. All right, subscribe if you enjoyed, and thank you, Factor, again for sponsoring the video. Bye.